Hello, welcome back to Brandon Sushi Electronic. In this episode, I will be sharing with you how I created this pyramid. And at the bottom, it looks like that. And this is uh, actually using um, Blender 2.92 Alpha. And this version of Blender um, actually have this interesting Boolean collections. So I think I talked it. I talked about this in the in the earlier live noting and this is actually really quite interesting uh, and we can use it together with SpreadShop um, this is one of such example it's generating this kind of pyramid using um, simply just box you can see as I increase and decrease the number this this hidden collections actually being generated on the fly okay so let's let's keep it at 10 for now and this is stretch of uh, using stretch of box node and this node is actually quite interesting because it's it can take uh, this matrix transform transform and so if we feed in um, a value into the scale it will actually generate bunch of cubes and I'm using it with uh, the default blender cube and the boolean modifier so we have this pyramid so it's actually quite interesting even though it's really basic however if you are new new to making nodes things like that this can be quite useful uh, useful yeah and this is simply just using a number and number range node set to float this one has number that goes down from big number to small number so there's a range of number you can use stethoscope app uh, stethoscope nodes to see the value same thing down here you can use stethoscope node to see the number and this will control the height of the pyramid and then you can control the number of step or stack and using it with blender default cube we have this because <clears throat> this is blender default cube right and this thing we can we can use boolean and all this collection box together to generate a, a single geometry and you can either use a solver that's fast or exact I use fast and we have this interesting hole and this is how you really build a pyramid kind of but I think it's, it's interesting look look at the inside of the pyramid yeah it's also it has interesting uh, geometry there we can hide the default cube and it simply disappear oops I just option G and then it's, uh, it's back to the origin or just hide it up there and we have this pyramid and it's something that if you're happy with it you just simply bake it it's become a single object while the collection itself you know that it's, a, it's just a bunch of cube and this cube is made up of many boxes that we simply stack together so in the past I think to create something like this you, you can do it in many different ways I think but the boolean method is actually the easiest so simply hide the collections once again back with a cube create create a simple default cube add modifier boolean create uh, use the union operations set it to collections operand so it's gonna look at the collections and then you can simply merge everything together 
uh, yeah so that's pretty much it I think this should go into my node um, Bible or note uh, notebooks that I'm currently working on uh, it's uh, something that I should have done many years ago when I started to learn about blender and notes but uh but I think it's a it's a really good timing to to do it today just to create some kind of Bible that's talking about notes I like to use uh, stretch of notes often but animation notes soar car and many other notes like three notes and and also the the audio notes including all the blender shader notes can can be beneficial uh, to understand about computations um, even if you are already know things about coding and programming or maybe you don't know anything about coding or programming you can you can benefit from understanding how nodes work and maybe in the future you can eventually make your own nodes that kind of process and help you to calculate or visualize what you're thinking anyhow this is a this is a pyramid made using a blender boolean stack I don't know try uh, inverting the pyramid I think it's a uh, it's very interesting setup all right so thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you next time thank you bye